I already knew that Raz B and Lil Fizz was gonna respond to a Marion Breakfast Club interview. I already knew, cause one of the things they was talking about on the interview was how Marion felt when, you know, Lil Fizz smashed his ex April Jones. He said, it really turned up my unbothered. And then Raz B had something to say, because like Omarion, he was talking about the group not really brothers and it was a lot of jealousy. So Raz B said, I was asked to do a retraction and paid 10,000 years ago. I didn't understand that the enemy was using them to discredit my testimony. Being a child of the most high, people are always gonna try to dim your light. Nobody told me thank you for feeding their families, nobody. I take full accountability for my actions on the Millennium Tour, but why would you want to kick your own brother off the tour who brought the money to the table then put the press release to say, I want to see you in a good light. Then he said, get ready, all my deals are funded, my turn, really has always been. I've been on cruise control. So I don't really know what the hell he talking about, but like I said, when he was on the Breakfast Club, he was just talking about the whole situation, what happened between them. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I don't care, man. This this whole shit restarted because of the verses that Omarion had with Mario a couple months ago, and he was like throwing shots at him, like joking on him and stuff. That's why this whole thing started. And then, you know, Omarion, they were supposed to do a millennial tour, like bring everybody together so you know the whole the old B2K can get money together. But Omarion, he kicked all of them off the group because Lil Fizz smashed April. But now, you know what I'm saying? B2K did their drink shop interview talking about what happened. And then now Omarion, he doing this interview. He he just telling his side of the story. That's all Omarion doing, telling his side. But then Lil Fizz said, that's Cap. And Raz B saying that he put his own money up and this and that. He broke now. I don't know what the hell going on, bro. At the end of the day, it's their fault. It's Lil Fizz, Raz B, you know what I'm saying, J-Bug. It's their fault that they didn't do nothing with their career. Like, they didn't elevate. After B2K broke up, Omarion, he got with Bow Wow. They started doing songs. Then he, Omarion made the joint touch. Then he got signed with MMG for a little while. He got the song with Janae Aiko that went big. You know, Omarion was doing shit. Like, where the hell did y'all was at? What the hell Lil Fizz, Raz B, J-Bug? Y'all probably was just depending on him to one day come back and save y'all. Like, y'all some grown men, bro. All y'all doing is, Omarion did this, Omarion did that. And the whole time, Omarion still getting paid, he's still getting money, he's still getting booked for shows when y'all gotta fight for the scraps. It's a damn shame, man. What should I think about this? I'm over this shit at this point, man. It's your boy B. Moots.